An Omaha daycare driver told police another child distracted him, causing him to accidentally leave this one-year-old girl in a van for hours. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Rob McCartney. We just got the arrest affidavit. Police booked 62-year-old Ryan Williams on account of child abuse by neglect resulting in death. Police say Ramiah Worthington was in the vehicle for about five hours. They found her outside Kids of the Future 2 off 50th and Leavenworth Monday. Within the last few hours, Health and Human Services confirms it has temporarily closed that daycare. KETV News Watch 7's Alex McLoon is live with the breaking details. Rob, Julie, court documents reveal heartbreaking details. The affidavit says Ramaya's body temperature at the hospital was 109 degrees. 62-year-old van driver Ryan Williams took po told police he took nine children to the daycare. He said he was distracted by a boy who didn't want to get out of the van. Williams said another staffer came out and got the boy. That's when Williams says he closed up the van and says he normally conducts a sweep of the vehicle to make sure nobody's inside, but admitted he did not do that Monday. Williams told police he found Ramaya hours later when he went out for his afternoon route. He said he found Ramaya on the back seat floor. He picked her up, ran back inside the daycare where someone called 911. Tonight, we're also learning more about the daycare's previous issues with the state. Kids of the Future Child Development Center 2 has a history of violations with Nebraska Health and Human Services. Inspectors conducted seven unannounced inspections over the past five years. KETV Investigates found the daycare couldn't provide proof of child care liability insurance in May. And last December, the state reported violations of infant and toddler care. A document shows a state inspector couldn't find information in writing about specific center staff assigned to all infants. And DHHS said staff didn't have proof of fingerprinting last July, breaking state law. KETV News Watch 7 tried reaching owner Keisha Wesson several times. Those calls have gone unanswered since one-year-old Ramaya Worthington was found unresponsive in the daycare's van Monday. Prosecutors believe she was there for five to six hours. My baby did not come home. Her siblings did. She didn't. How did y'all forget her? Demonstrators stood outside the daycare's North Omaha location Tuesday, which operates under a different license and a different owner. This one's open. There are still kids that are vulnerable, able to be hurt, able to be left in bands. The van driver could get up to 20 years in prison if convicted. He's in jail tonight and goes to court tomorrow morning. Back to you. Alex, thanks for the update.